What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be in the garage because the weather is crap, but we're going to be doing our first performance modification from our friends at Corsa Performance. Guys, check this out. All these boxes, tons of parts ready to go on our new 2022 Mustang GT. You know that the EPA has plagued us for the 22 and up. As far as restriction, the carbon filter in the intake system, we're going to be getting rid of that today. So Corsa actually has a few options for this. All right, so they have an intake system. They have a couple of different ones. They have one that is open to the air, an open element air filter, kind of like what we've seen with other companies and stuff. But theirs is really fancy because it's got a carbon fiber like inlet tube. It's really, really sexy. But they also have a closed box option, which is what I decided to go with because we want to keep ITs down as much as possible because truthfully, the factory cold air system that comes from Ford is actually pretty good and it keeps ITs down. So I wanted to do something like that just to keep the ITs in check but get rid of that restriction. Now you cannot just, because we've already explored this and I'll show you on camera, you cannot just pull out that carbon filter and pick up a little bit more horsepower. There, well, I mean you can but there's also still like this spider web of plastic inside of the intake lid itself from factory and it's a mess. But today we're going to get rid of that that, install some new performance mods from our friends at Corsa Performance. One for this car and one for something else that you have not seen on the channel yet. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel to see what in the world we are doing, what's going on. But let's pop the hood on our new Mustang and get to modding. And then in the back after this video, we'll put it on the road and compare and see how it performs. Let's go. All right, so stock engine bay for the 2022. Yeah, here's the intake system. So we're going to get that loose. And under here is all that restriction we want to show you and why if you just remove the carbon filter, it's not, it, it, it may be an improvement, but it's not going to actually give that 10 horsepower back that we lost due to EPA from 2022 and up. So anyway, let's unbox the Corsa. Let's go. So oh, this is the cabin air filter, not cabin, it looks like cabin air filter. This is the uh, intake carbon filter is what I meant to say. Anyway, this basically lives right there. You can pull this out as we have done. It's got these little clips here, but you can see the sea of Jungle Gym plastic here that is just like all the way down. So like right inside here. Stop! But anyway, we want the maximum effort that we can get from an intake system. And I think that these guys are going to be the answer. We're going to open this up in just a second. I just want to get all this stuff out of the way and go from there. We got an empty engine bay. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Take a look at this new intake system from Corsa. And like I said, they've got an open air filter design. And then we also have the closed box so looks like we've got a uh, little protector here on the uh, glass the plastic here you can actually see through it so what i like about this so far is that it's like a full piece like you don't have to reuse any of the old and i think this is going to look good under the hood and keep our iits in check now here's the fancy part all right let's see if we can do this one-handed look at that carbon fiber hold up carbon fiber Inlet tube, the real stuff, you guys can check that out. That is really, really nice. Love how we got Corsa like under the clear coat of this thing. So not gonna rub off, not a stupid sticker or nothing like that. So this looks good, man. This looks fire. So, all right, let's see. Yes, that looks killer. Looks like all the same hookups pretty much. There is for your EVAP system and then there is more of that i'm sure there's a little plug that's going to go in there so let me figure this out let's put the new box under the hood and then see if yeah don't think we're going to reuse that right there the sound suits are probably going to get that out of the car out of the way nobody wants that in their engine bay anyway because it's an ugly mess but this is going to be it this looks so good and if you guys are interested in corsa products i mean guys look at this look at that it is so delicious looking check out the video description down below guys one of the things that we do on this channel you know is we have like an abundance and i probably mean like more than anybody else on youtube as far as discount codes i love working with all these companies to be able to bring you guys out there watching savings because 
And the more you can save, the more you can mod, the more you can have fun, and gas is expensive at the end of the day. So make sure that you follow the discount codes down below. And I'm not getting paid from Corsa to say that. I just want to be able to save you guys some money. So we've been working with Corsa for many years now, and they've been big supporters of us. I'm big supporters of them. They make exhaust that sounds incredible and does not drone. Now we have an intake system from them that is absolutely killer looking. So anyway, time to move on. Time to install this on the car and quit rambling. But uh, again, check out video description down below to save some money. Yeah, this is looking fantastic. So last step is going to be the lid. Now, this is what I'm really excited for. This is how it looks. You see the logo is going to shine through once we peel this protective layer off. See embossed the Corsa Performance logo. So it's all kind of like a blacked out look. That is really stealthy and cool looking. I am digging the fact that we have carbon fiber. Love the logo here. We have it a little bit right there, just kind of a little Easter egg. And this is how the intake looks. So very good fitment. You can see that we're not impacting anywhere. Uh, the box honestly was a little tricky to get installed. It's just everything about this kit. Very, very tight, which is not a bad thing. All right, so digging the intake so far. We're going to put it on the road. We're going to go for a test drive, but I forgot to mention that this is 50 state emissions legal. So that means that you do not have to tune for this intake. It's got the same inlet, uh, MAF inlet size as factory OEM, but you're still going to gain horsepower because we got rid of all that plastic mess. Remember this? Hot garbage mess. This can go straight into the trash or in your attic or somewhere else not on the car. So this course intake system is definitely guaranteed to pick up that missing 10 horsepower, even though we don't have to tune for it. So I would still argue the fact that you're probably going to gain a little bit of power too when you do tune for them. You got a, uh, the cone filter and everything is huge and uh, definitely should see some power increase, but we're guaranteed at least 10. So it is a performance modification, not just snake oil like they used to be in the past. We are out here testing our new cold air system from Corso. Now we have more power under the hood with the Corso system and it's a little bit different. So, you know, for looking at it, uh, you're thinking that maybe it won't add that much, really, because the stock air box is actually pretty good. But remember, this is a 2022, so we had that filter in there that you can take it out. We did. And will that bring in more horsepower? I don't know. Maybe. But you still have, like, that rat's nest of plastic under the, uh, the stock lid, and it's just terrible. So... Anyway, I, I can tell you over the past few days that we've actually been running this, the NATs are staying the same with this style because they have two different ones. They've got an open filter design and they have a couple different actual uh, cones, filter cones. One is like an oiled, one is a dry. And I have both, so I'm gonna do some testing with that. But ultimately I decided to go with the sealed up version because I felt like IATs might be combated, combated, combated a little bit better with that that style anyway um so what i have noticed over the past few days is iits are relatively about the same as they were factory so that's always a good thing uh two the throttle tip in seems to be like maybe a little bit better so maybe a touch and i'm i'm, I'm trying to I've been playing around with this for a few days. I don't want to say it's placebo because I don't think it is, but I feel like the throttle response is a hair better, you know, so there is going to be some power increase a little bit, you know, because we're giving up that filter plus we're going to a different design. Now, this is a non-tuned version, which is cool because it's 50 state legal for EPA purposes, but, you know, I'm sure when you tune it, you can always tune for, you know, anyway, you guys know how that works, tuning and everything else. So you're going to always get more power when you tune, uh, which will be coming soon. But for those that are out there that want to retain their factory warranty, this is a clear winner. Okay, it looks good. A little bit better throttle response. I'm, I really think that there is. And it's going to add more power, especially if you have a 2022 and 2023 with that uh, filter in there. You're 1,000% going to get some power advantages from getting rid of that stock air box going to something like this. Plus, it looks good. 
it's carbon fiber guys and they have two different options so it's cool that they have two different options there and I'm really glad to see that a lot of companies just have it one way in their way or the highway kind of deal of course it actually gives you a couple of different uh, styles which is pretty nice plus they don't just have carbon fiber so if you're on a budget they have the regular uh, plastic as well like I said IETs are like the same as factory just about we're gonna spin this around do a couple of pulls and see if things change there and I don't think that they will because I've been playing with it like I said for a couple of days and it's all been really good stuff you can hear it a little bit more too because I don't know it just flows better I guess but you can definitely hear the induction noise from the intake a little bit better plus you get rid of that sound tube thing from the intake to the firewall which nobody likes and everybody deletes anyway a little pull. My battery died like mid pull. Let's try it again. So these things are no swatches. Pretty peppy. Pretty peppy for a stock Mustang. Now, but with the intake on it. So a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better throttle response. You can definitely hear it a little bit better. Looks good under the engine bay. IETs are pretty close to the stock air box and we know that it's not snake oil because of that carbon filter that we've taken out and replacing the whole unit now so we know that there is 1000 percent an actual an actual power increase which is nice so a lot of guys are taking the carbon filters out they're getting the power back somewhat but this is uh I think a really cost-effective way to, to dress up the engine bay. Um, again, probably adds a little bit more horsepower than just taking the carbon filter out. I don't repeat myself, but I think that this is kind of a home-run product. I really, I really like it. Product, I think it's really cool. The course it has like all these different systems coming out, uh, not just exhaust, but intakes and catch cans and all stuff too for these vehicles. But they have them for others as well. So we've got a new truck that we have not introduced on this channel just yet, but we have a bunch of course of goodies going on to it as well. So if you want F-150 content, it's gonna be coming your way too. But we have some surprises for that uh, new vehicle. Anyway, um, so yeah, definitely get ready. But I think, uh, Corsa is definitely where you'd want to spend your money. Again, if you want to save some money, follow the discount codes down in the video description as always. And I think it's a home run of a product. Good IETs, they have two different systems available. Sounds good, better throttle response, and it's EPA safe. But, does add horsepower. You're still gonna get some power increase, especially when you tune, always. Appreciate you guys watching. God bless all of you. Take care, have a great day. See you next time, bye.